Nature and Scope of English Language Introduction Communication plays a quintessential role in our lives. It helps us to express and share ideas, emotions and feelings. Languages are a means of communication as they help us in putting our thoughts into words. There are thousands of languages in the world today. But what makes English special is its dominance in all spheres of life. This has broadened the scope of the English language. Our verbal, non-verbal communication are full of English words even if we are conversing in languages other than English. It can hold the status of a native, second, official, foreign or international communication language. In India, it is the second and official language. It also represents a fundamental expression of social identity. Language is a purely human and non-instinctive method of communication. Human species, specific, species uniform, language is non-instinctive. A child has to learn language of his society. English language has become the primary requirement for interconnectedness of people and for free exchange of ideas, cultures and economics and a lingua franca for communication, business and education. English has been playing an important role in our educational system as well as in our national life. Nature of English language among the different languages of the world, English is the most widely spoken and written languages of the world. Today, English occupies the prestigious place of an international language. It is utilized by the largest number of people of many nations in all the five continents in the world. The reason which comes to our notice is that it is not due to the qualities of its own, but there are important historical political and economical reasons for its worldwide popularity. The other obvious reason is that English-speaking nations like England and America have made it prominent. However, no language can become so important unless it has some outstanding and special characteristics for its phenomenal growth in popularity. The main characteristics for this stride of English language are as under. The first one is receptiveness. The first outstanding characteristics of English language is receptiveness. This is regarded as extraordinary feature of the language. It is accepted and adopted words from Asian, European, African, Indian, Japanese, Chinese and other languages. English has kept open door policy of accepting words from classical languages like Latin, Greek and Sanskrit. The second feature is heterogeneousness. Heterogeneousness means mixed form or the lack of purity. English language contains words from so many other languages that it has become the most mixed language. Original words from other languages have crept into English. Some words have retained their original meanings and some words have changed their meanings. The spellings and pronunciations have also changed. Example, the word tau from French has become tau in modern English. Fixed word order. Another characteristic of English language is its fixed word order. This arrangement becomes necessary for proper relationship of the words in a sentence and to avoid ambiguity. The place of each word in a sentence decides its relationship, relationship to others. Use of periphrases In English language, there is a very significant use of periphrases. Periphrases mean roundabout ways of expressing ideas or feelings. In other words, it is possible to say the something in many different ways in English. Periphrases is a very important quality of any language because it makes the language rich and varied. And the fifth one is development of intonation. The significant quality of English is the great development of intonation to express different shades of meaning. Intonation can easily change the meaning of a sentence completely. Intonation can be described as the pitch and intensity or the tone of the voice. Language is restricted. 
while concealing the ideas into a language some meaning is lost no symbol or word can transmit the exact reality language is arbitrary because of the lack of a natural relationship between the signifier the language form and the signified referent language is unique creative complex and modifiable language is recursive recursiveness is to accomplish any number of sentences using the same grammatical pattern it acquires to represent any idea thought or feeling using the same phraseology language is a system of symbols and it is repetitive language is the magnitude for superfluity or repetition repetition may ameliorate or retard efficient communication scope of english language international importance english claims to be the first rate international language it can even be called a universal language hence its knowledge promotes international understanding thus it is very helpful in fostering true internationalism and cooperation among the nations of the world educational importance english is a direct medium of acquiring a knowledge of modern arts science humanities technology etc it is equally important for statesmen and politicians scientists and doctors engineers and educationists businessmen and research workers they enrich their knowledge and experience by reading english books and journals consequently they contribute to the progress of their country particularly when it's underdeveloped like india vocational importance study of english as a modern foreign language has tremendous vocational importance for us it offers opportunities for many and varied vocations like diplomatic and foreign services business commerce medicine teaching law etc cultural importance english widens one's cultural and intellectual horizon it develops scientific technical and commercial relations with other countries it imparts a knowledge of foreign nations and cultures thus it furthers requires mutual understanding and cooperation disciplinary importance the study of english enables a person to compare and contrast the good and bad things of his country with those of other nations recreational importance english is a good source of recreation and useful employment of leisure persons now in english can enjoy the best stories drama novels etc written or translated into english conclusion english holds important place in education system advancement in information technology scientific knowledge and applications transformed earth into a global village in india english becomes official language of administration medium of instruction and subject of study a knowledge of english is considered as necessary for activity thought and employment english has attained the status of ling language in different countries of the world english establishes social economic cultural and political relation with other countries of the world knowledge of english promotes international understanding and cooperation among the nations of the world english has occupied an important place in our educational system and life of our country it's a language that continues to dominate the nation india is a third largest english speaking country in india english is being perceived as a must know language english has now become a ladder for upper social mobility and a window to the world